Yeah, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, don't have a lot on slate today. Uh, we're just going to uh, check some cows. Our spring cows are due to uh, start having calves any day. Uh, so we're going to drive around them and, uh, and start checking them, make sure we don't have any babies on the ground. Uh, or make sure we do have babies on the ground. That's what we're looking for. Uh, calving can be one of the most stressful times for a cow-calf producer or obviously one of the most rewarding times. When we have weather like this, it's more rewarding than stressful. But when it's snowing and blowing or raining and cold, there's a lot of stress involved. But we're fortunate today. The good Lord blessed us with the gorgeous day. So we're gonna go check to see if we have some calves. Might see these few heifers behind me. I forgot to point out what these are. Or these are fall heifers. We just had the bull with them for uh, 75 days. Uh, we just pulled the bull, I believe this Monday, it's past Monday. Uh, so basically uh, later this fall, August, September, uh, hopefully they're, they're all bred and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to make, a, make mamas out of these cows. As you can tell, especially by this one right here, our cows are extremely vicious. Not, they're tame, they're spoiled. We like them that way. What we're doing now, we're just driving around these are our spring cows and they're literally due to have calves anytime any day uh, the actual perfect date would have been a day or two ago but uh, you can tell they're all all bagging up real good springing up so we should expect to be seeing calves out of these cows any day obviously they're not gonna all calve at the same time every they're not they're all gonna calve the same day but uh we should start seeing cats out of it. Uh oh. Look what I see right here. Looks like we see a newborn calf right here. Fresh. Fresh. Not even walking yet. I think we'll just give her her space. She's not looking like she's liking this right now. Not sure if you can see way up there, but we have another calf. Good day on the Gen X farm. Two fresh calves, all looks good. Oh man, drove over my handle. Ew. Shocker's working. Hey, your ear tag's crooked. How are these people supposed to determine what your name is? I'm thinking it's 1501. Is your name 1501? What we're gonna do now is up here in the dry lot. We've got, I think 12, well 10 heifers that we kept back when we uh, weaned our spring calves here. Oh gosh, a couple months ago, three months ago probably. And we've got uh, 10, 10 heifers we kept back. We're gonna see how they develop here the next uh, two, three months. If we like what we're seeing, we're seeing. They're growing well and they're putting on weight the way we like body fully develops and has the uniformity and the shape that we desire what we'll probably do is put them with a with a low birth weight bull or a heifer bull what that does is just uh, just what it sounds like uh, uh, something that has the has the uh, reputation of throwing light calves uh, first-time mamas they're still growing themselves so we like to breed them to something that has the reputation of throwing small calves and uh, just give them a better opportunity to uh, have that calf unassisted uh, 
anyway we're just going to drive around them here and they don't require as much of our attention right now because we're just basically feeding them uh, and just letting them grow 10 of them is what we're going to try to develop and hopefully going to turn them into mama cows we like raising and developing our own mama cows uh, just build on some genetics but there's also two smaller ones in here they're obviously not going to be near big enough the two small ones might actually walk down into the krill i've got the water going but what the two smaller ones are we just kept them with these heifers i do believe they're heifers as well but what we're going to do is later on this year uh, we're going to put them in the put them in the krill and start uh, aggressively feeding them grain and then they will be next year's uh, or i should say later this year uh, they'll be the next crop of butcher calves what a cute little tire. I wonder what that came off of. It's laying out here in the middle of nowhere. It's the dog's chew toy. It's one of the only things we can give him that'll last. He just tears things up. This is a first. I've never actually, the wires, this is, there's an electric fence here. It's unplugged or turned off. I've never actually had a mama give birth to a calf on top of an electric fence. Huh, boy, I bet that baby came shooting out of there. Here's my, uh, here's my daily, uh, what do you call it? Pick me up the environment we farmers rely on mother nature to, for our business for our growth for our crops this net wrap here blew off the back of somebody's pickup i'm sure they didn't mean for it to blow off probably didn't even realize it blew off but what i'm doing is i'm picking it up I'm tucking it underneath my side rails here so it won't blow off for me, and we'll dispose of it properly.
How you doing? How you doing? Don't have anything to eat. Ew. Bovine slobber. Ew. Oh, you want some of this action? That baldy cow right there has got to be the weirdest drinking cow we own. She dips her mouth in, cleans her face off, and that's how she gets a drink. I'm not kidding you, it'll take her an hour.